Hey guys, welcome to another exciting episode on the Covert Craft server. Uh, it's been a couple weeks and I've been busy. I haven't been just piddling around, I've had things going on. So, I'm starting you guys out today uh, over here at my iron farm, which if you didn't remember, and you might not have, it is built on a slime chunk. It is centered on the slime chunk. So I have started digging this thing out. It's going to be dug all the way down, but the slime chunk is is actually created and is working and I've got this awesome battle royale now that goes on you know it used to be my iron farm my iron golems just fell down here and died on some magma no 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 no. this is so much cooler now okay come check this out I have never seen anybody else do anything like this so we shall follow the path of the iron golem he gets gently pushed down here on this nice water path to the nice little slip and slide yay slip and slide as he gets to go and watch, as slimes look at him and jump towards him as he goes down here, he and his other friends in the other four corners will continue to continue will continue to go down the slip and slide towards their eventual demise, but not before battling it out with the slimes. Of course, there's no slimes here, but the slimes have been coming down here and falling and dying. But that's what they're. That's I guess I'm too close to it. That's why the slimes aren't spawning. But the slimes come down here as well and then it's just everything dies right here it's beautiful um a lot of the iron golems end up actually killing the slimes but it's a great battle that happens down here but nice other nice thing you see you can see how fast my iron golems are coming in just yeah it's like a constant dream every 30 seconds i get four iron golems it's just beautiful but this will take this is actually all the way down at the bottom here we're just above bedrock and uh, kind of will take you to the next thing that I've got here. So this is down mining level, which is where you want to, you know, this is down like level 11. It's where you want to be, where you want to get your diamonds, your redstone and all that. I have built a proper mine elevator here. So because I have just insane quantities of iron, I built that out of iron trap doors, which if you didn't know, iron trap doors are a pain in the butt to go and get so they're actually vertical. They normally want to go horizontal. So it took a lot of trapdoors and a lot of, uh, it's kind of hard to see, you gotta look in the right place, a lot of um, switches, whatever you want to call these things. Yeah, to go and make it so it's right. But this is so cool now. Now, one of the things, you know, I've got, is, I haven't done any mining down here. I've got it all set up so I can start doing just strip mining away. But what I've set up here, down the middle, you know, I've got a, a this is my, up elevator and I've got my down elevator here and in the middle is the item elevator so all I gotta do when I'm doing my mining I get my inventory full open this up this shoots this up all the way up to the top I'm and it's not just shooting it up to the top I'll show you what the awesomeness is here so and yeah nice little bubble vader you can kind of tell there's some lamps in there and all that but it's a nice quick trip all the way back up to the top to my base so this, I wanted this to look like kind of a 1950s, 1920s era kind of mine. So this is a nice chipped out kind of mine, real rustic looking with the logs and everything kind of holding it up. And then I've got this big iron, kind of like an air shaft that has the, uh, that has your elevators down and everything. And I kind of wanted it to be so you can kind of see down and yeah, it's kind of open. I, I looked at some pictures, some videos of old like, um, mine shafts and mine elevators going to see kind of how they look and of course you got your ppe here you got your uh, headlamps but then your items come up here and they go into a, a nice little super sorter here so these are all your uh blocks that you normally would get for mining your, your andesite and your cobblestone and all that and here all your ores so this now you know all i got a water stream that comes up here and all my items come up here and get super sorted so yeah Awesome. I can now actually do some stinking awesome easy mining. You know, I should have done this so early on to go and make my life so easy. But it's one of those things that, like, you know, to build this, I needed so much iron. To You know, all these uh, all these hoppers, they take some stinking iron. I'm getting to the point now where I'm, I'm running out of other things like wood to go and make all the hoppers that I need for everything I'm doing. So along those same lines of having this awesome... Uh, item sorter over here i've started doing the mega item sorter so that's where this starts and it's actually cooler to go and look at the back it goes all the way down the side it's 
unbelievably amazing. I've tried this a couple times. It is beautiful. This is all the I'm basically got putting in first all the items that I normally go and get and they're like in my inventory randomly. So you yeah, all your precious items. It's a simple little system. You just fill it up here. And then if I go around, yeah, this is yeah. I'm it's like I'm move, moving here. You know, I got just stuff just sitting all over because yeah, I'm trying to reorganize everything. But all I do is I put the items in that. It puts them into a dropper which auto sh turns on whenever it has anything in it and it sends them up into this long water stream where they all get sorted so yeah that took some work because like getting it so the timings are right because if the dropper goes too fast you like start clogging up the system it's like a whole deal so yeah awesome i'm still working on it because it's going to require so much hoppers and all that and the main thing it's helped hold me up from making so much hoppers is that I need more wood, which I've come over the system, but it needs more hoppers. So yeah, so that's what I've got on down this way. This is, and this is probably going to be deadly, so I will be careful. But um, I've started creating kind of my tree farm here that I'm going to have, so I can do, uh, you know, mega spruce or whatever down here. This is basically going to continue on down down through the center of this and the plan is what I'll actually do if I've got a trap door up there I can go up to the top along that ridge line drop down onto my trees and just start mowing down trees and any excess or whatever I can just throw off to the side it gets caught by all these hoppers that puts it down here in a chest so I can go and collect all the leftovers from the leaves so I you know I don't have to worry about cleaning up afterwards they're just all collected for me this needs to continue on the whole stinking way and I think I'm gonna do something a little cooler than the andesite it's gonna be cool when it when it's done it's gonna look nice obviously this all needs to be lit up so yeah very excited about that I've had a couple other things you know we I went and built a uh, wither skelly farm and I can go and show you guys that if you want it's a real simple little sweeper system it's kind of a temporary thing but we're getting some wither skelly heads which means I finally got my first beacon which is really exciting um, that's pretty much all I got for now for guys for you guys now but uh, I'm really excited this this came out so pretty it it's just playing around with a little simple palette I actually kind of want this to look like it's a little bit like moist in the corner I don't know yeah, it's it's cool. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. And uh, yeah, I'm going on vacation, so I'll, I actually won't be around for like the next week. So uh, I'll see you guys probably another few weeks. So um, yeah, hopefully got some more progress. So I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, if you like, you like, and uh, subscribe if this is the first time you guys see me, and uh, give me some comments. You know, if you got any awesome ideas, anything to try, or you know how to go make my videos better, give me give me a heads up. You know, tell me what you think. Alright, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!